Welcome back to Study Time with Kent. And if you're following along every week, we have, of course, study tips. Number one, use your favorite pen. Number two, decorate your notebook and study bag. We talked about that the last two weeks ago, using your favorite pen. And, of course, why you should decorate your bag for today's lesson will be here. Number three, always use a pen like this, a pen. I said earlier we would talk about this. Why do we use a pen and do not erase? I never use a pencil. So as you can see, uh, for our school, my English school, this is our pen case. As you can see inside, uh, we have, of course, scissors, glue, and some students have other stuff. We have a black pen and a red pen, no pencils. So if the student is at least Nincho, so at least five years old, we stop using pencils. We use the black pen for main, and then when you want to fix yourself, you use the red pen to fix yourself. That's why uh, here you have the colorful pen, like black, blue, and pink or red at home. So, for example, of course, when we're making something, like here I made this one, you can see here I made a mistake. The Cornell note-taking system, or Cornell method, of course, it was by a professor at Cornell. That's why it's called Cornell. Uh, sorry, here you go, at Cornell. But I made a mistake here. If you can see, Rice, Rice University. So I scratched off Rice, and I put Cornell. Of course, I didn't erase or white out. So when you're studying, maybe when you're making an essay, or you're turning in something to the teacher, you want it to look perfect. When you're studying, when you make the mistake, of course, always cross off. That's why you don't erase. Uh, it's, uh, in America, it's typical that we do this at least from junior high school, junior high, high school, college, that don't erase it. It might look better if it's erased, but when you look back at it, you're like, oh, yeah, that's the mistake I made. Oh, I get it. So even this is, a, I think I made this maybe 10 years ago, but I can say, oh, I made that mistake. It's not Rice University. It's Cornell University. Oh, okay, so I'll remember that in the future. So uh, it's help you, of course, if you erase it. In the textbook or in your notebook, you'll think, oh yeah, I got it right the first time, so don't need to pay attention to it. But of course, it's the wrong strategy. Okay, so again, this was Study Time with Kent. Thank you very much. If you're enjoying these videos, uh, please remember to uh, subscribe or give us a like or a comment below. So we would love to know which videos you're enjoying the most. And until next week, so next week our topic will be Cornell Notes, exactly what I was just talking about, Cornell Note-Taking Method. So we'll learn more about that next week. Have a good week.